Hi guys, today in this video, we're going to explore the custom layouts module in Neve Pro. With custom layouts, you can display both simple and complex layouts in different locations on your website. And its conditional logic feature will help you fine tune exactly where these layouts will be displayed. If you'd like more information on custom layouts, you can always check out its documentation. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go ahead and check it out. But right now we're going to go ahead and dive into our demonstration. Let's start by going to the WordPress dashboard. I already have a tab open, so I'm going to click on it. We'll hover over Neve and click on custom layouts. And now you'll be able to select a location for your layouts. The main locations are page structure, content types, and special cases. For our example, we'll use the header. We'll click add layout. And we're going to name this customer header. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and create a very simple layout. So I'm going to use a cover block. And to keep it simple, I'll make the background blue. It's the closest color. We can type a title. Or since we have auto installed, I'm going to insert a dynamic value. The data type will be post title. Now I'll click on apply. And then we can move on to publish this custom layout to see how it works. Okay, once it's published, I'm going to go to our website in a new tab. So I already have one opened over here. I'll just refresh this page. And here we have our custom layout, which says home thanks to our dynamic value. Now, since we did not configure any conditional logic, it's being displayed on our entire website. Since it's also replacing the nav bar, I'll type in news at the end of the URL to navigate to that page. So you see it's also here. We'll go back to our custom layout to change this behavior. Let's switch from block to custom layout. We'll see an option to change the location, but for now we'll keep it as header. We also have an option to enable an expiration date. And that's basically a day and time for when you want your layout to go away. Now in conditional logic, we'll click the drop down menu for select. We'll have this only show up on our homepage. So we'll select page from the list. We'll keep is equal to, and then we'll need to find our homepage. So we'll type in home and click on it. And that's it. Once we save, we can go ahead and test it. So we'll go back to our other tab and refresh. And now news no longer has this custom layout. If we go to home, we'll see it. So remember, with no conditional logic set, your custom layout can be shown on the entire website. However, if you configure conditional logic, you can control exactly where your custom layout gets displayed. So this is good if, for example, you want to display a different header on different pages. Here's a quick example. I'll delete this one and I'll click on the plus. I'll go to patterns, then my patterns, and I have this simple navigation bar that I built recently. Let's use it for the demonstration. I'm going to just click on the X to close this menu. Okay, now let's open the toolbar on the right and we'll go to the custom layouts tab. We'll keep the same logic and we'll go ahead and save it. Okay, now we'll go back and open our website again. We'll refresh and here we have our custom nav bar. And if we go to news, for example, we'll see that it's totally different. So this was an example of one use case for our custom layouts. There's another really cool custom layouts function called hooks, which I'm going to demonstrate right now. I'm going to go to the news page and open one of the articles so that we could see a single post. Now, all the way at the top, I'm going to click on show hooks and we'll see all of the locations in which a custom layout can be inserted. So for example, here's an after header hook. There's before post content, before content, sidebar content. And if we scroll all the way down, we'll see some more hooks, for example, before footer, after footer and body end. So let's go ahead and insert a custom layout in one of these positions. Let's use before post content. Now I'm going to call this one sale. And once again, I'm going to access the patterns library. I'll go to my patterns and I'll use this countdown timer that I already prepared. Okay. Now let's go ahead and publish this. Okay. It's now live. Now let's quickly go to the custom layouts tab. And just like the previous example, we can always go back and change the location. You can also assign a priority to this hook. Right now we're only showing this layout on post by default, but if you want to, you can always change this using conditional logic. For example, if you wanted to show it only on a specific post, you'll need to find post in this menu, which is right here. So you'll do post is equal to, and then select the specific post. So I'm going to just go ahead and remove this. So we'll need to click on the post drop down, then select, and that's it. We can go up and click on save. And once it's saved, we can go back to our website. Let's click on the back button 
and we'll refresh. At the top, we'll hide the hooks. And there's our custom layout. Now the actual banner may need some work, but I guess you get the point. Okay, so this is how you use the custom layouts module in Neve. Comment which feature you'd like to see covered next in the description down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.